free society. Kids can do whatever they want, whatever they think is fun and rewarding. We need to make science and technology something they celebrate, something that they find satisfaction, something that they believe is accessible. So, since we are a sports-crazed nation, since we love entertainment, let's create an organization that does for science and technology what the NCAA or the Olympic Committee do for sports and entertainment. It proves to them, particularly women and minorities, that in fact technology is accessible. It is fun. It is rule. It is for everybody. It's not something that's only available to weird, geeky, odd geniuses. And first, gives all of these kids a fun, exciting way to get a sense of what the world is like for people that think and create and understand technology. And it, they're not really building robots, they're building relationships with serious adults from the technical community. They're building self-confidence. They're building an awareness of what's possible. And it's an enormously effective way to change their attitudes, to give them a sense of what's possible. And that's why we do it. If a politician comes to see me, I talk to that politician about first. You know, there's two kinds of politicians in this country. The ones that support first and the ones that don't matter.